Yo, what's going on YouTube? Just JK and welcome back to my channel for another GTA Online video. And in today's video, I'm going to be fully modifying and reviewing the brand new rocket bike, aka the Oppressor, that just came out with the Gun Running DLC. So to start with, as you can see, it's going to either cost you 2.6 million or 3.5 million. Uh, the difference in price is that if you want to get it for a little bit cheaper, you need to do the mission and you'll get it for a little bit cheaper. But if you haven't, you have to pay that little bit extra to get it. And then this bike looks fucking nuts, man. As you can see, it's got wings on the back. It's got a fucking rocket boost at the back as well. And me personally, I haven't tried this out yet. So everything you're going to see in this video is going to be first-hand fucking reactions, you know. Uh, I have seen footage of this bike and... By the looks of it, it can kind of fly. I don't really know how, how that's going to work or how to control it, but we're going to find out in this video. But first, before we do that, we're going to get into my MOC and we're going to fucking modify this bitch. So you go, my dudes. As you can see, we are now in the MOC, so we can start modifying this bitch. So to start with, as always, we're going to start with the armor. We're going to get 100% body armor. Uh, the whole purpose of this video is to maximize everything. That we possibly can so that's what we're going to do with the brakes race brakes engine oh we get a choice of the engine block that's pretty cool wow oh shit son the vortex engine fuck it's a rocket bike man we're gonna make it look fucking nuts the engine tunes we're gonna get level four then we move on to the fairing oh it's a little bit at the bottom okay uh fuck it man might as well change it up we're gonna get a saber fairing next we've got the front mudguard only one option and a just adds a mudguard. I actually like it with the mudguard, so we're going to grab that. Next, we've got the fuel tank. Uh, only one option for this as well. But the, the change is quite good, man. It beefs it up a little bit. It makes it look a little bit nicer, so we're going to grab that. Next, we've got the lights, headlights. We're going to get the Xeon headlights. So now we move on to the liveries. Uh, I'm not feeling a camo for this bike, to be fair. I felt I'm just going to go with metallic colour on this. or one colour. So with that being said, we're going to move on. We've got the rear mudguard next. Mmm... I don't think I'm going to get that. I think it looks a little bit better without. So we're going to leave the stock mug guard for that. For the respray, we'll go primary colour. We're going to go metallic on this bitch. And what am I feeling for this? You know what? A lime green might look fucking a bit nuts for this this bike, you know? Oh, shit. Nah, let's not, let's not have lime green. Uh, I think I'm going to go with a, a red. Probably formula red. So you go my dudes with formula red on there, that actually looks really nice and metallic, I think. Um, yeah, I think that looks pretty good, man, so we'll go keep that. Next we've got the secondary colour, also I'll go into metallic, probably put it the same colour to be fair. There you go my bros, we're going to keep it formula red, the same colour as the primary. So then we go on to the seat, which is fucking kind of retarded because we can't even see it change. The seat doesn't change, it's, it's the rear um, exhaust part that changes. It's not actually the seat that changes at all. <laughs> Um, you can't even fucking go around there to see it. What's all that about? Because the Sabre seat's not really much different to the stock seat, I think I'm just going to go with the minimalist seat. All this sort of shit is going to be obvious. We're going to get race transmission, turbo tuning, and then we'll go on to the weapons. Obviously, we're going to get the missiles on this bitch. Oh, look at that. Yes. Does that take away the gun then? I'm assuming that's going to take away the minigun, which isn't a problem. Hopefully, they're going to be homing missiles. That'd be fucking pretty cool. Then we go on to the wheels, wheel type, front wheel. We're going to stay stock because I'm not a massive fan of chrome on this bike, you know. And I'm going to go for the cartwheel. For the rear wheel, I'm going to go into stock rims and also go and purchase cartwheel. Feeling a black for the rims and I think it actually looks really nice. We've got a little bit of an alloy trim around the outside which looks quite cool. But we're not going to go full black, we're going to go carbon black. So next we're going to go on to the tyres. Do we get a tyre design? We do. That's the atomic as well. That actually looks quite cool, man. We're going to grab the, uh, the custom tyres. And we're also going to get bulletproof tyres. So that is that for the customizations on this motherfucker. We're now going to get back onto the streets. And see what sort of fucking crazy ass shit this bike can do. So now we're back out on the streets of Los Santos. And Ron's calling me. Fuck off, Ron, you cunt. No one gives a shit. And this bike, man, looks nuts. Absolutely fucking crazy. I did have a notification pop up a moment ago saying if I press X, the wings come out. So I'm assuming that's going to help me fly. <laughs> that's fucking crazy, man. And, um... Let's fucking try it. What? Whoa! <laughs> right, I'm up. Can I boost again? I can't boost again. Why can't I not boost again? What's all that about, man? Why can't I boost? That's dog shit. Why can't I boost again when I'm in the air? So all I can do is glide until I... Bullshit. 
Oh, whoa! Man, this bloke's fucking crazy. That's one damn... A fucking massive downfall, man, that you can't boost whilst you're in the air. Oh, shit. I need, and I don't think they're home and uh, missiles on the front of this bike either. Which isn't, you know, the big all end all. It'd be pretty fucking OP if they were. Oh, there we go. Ooh. Oh, no, you prick. Anyway, man, this is a pretty fucking cool bike. It's uh, definitely different. And I think it looks quite nice as well, what I've done to it. Hang on. We have got homing missiles. Enemies. It locks onto enemies. Fuck yeah. Fuck yes. It locks onto enemies. Oh, damn. That's made my day. I didn't think it was going to be um, homing missiles, but they are. That is fucking awesome. Uh, obviously, it won't lock on onto the... Ooh. The normal um, NPC cars because they weren't enemies. But now the police are after me, they're classed as enemies. And it's locking onto them. <laughs> it's fucking OP as hell. Fuck yeah, have some of that. <laughs> Love it. Uh, but speed wise as well, man, this bike seems really quick without using the boost. And obviously, you haven't just got to use the boost to fly, you can just use it on the ground. But when you do boost, you bring out your wings and you fly. And you're off. Man, this bike is fucking crazy. I definitely think it's worth <laughs> the 3.5 million. Just because it's so unique. It's got homer missiles as well. That's a massive plus. And you can fly. That's a fucking flying bike, man. What more do you want? What more do you want for your money? Uh, but anyway, guys. I, I thoroughly enjoyed this bike. I think uh, the customization on it isn't obviously the best. But you can get homer missiles on it. <laughs> I mean, what, what more do you want? Uh, it is quite quick. It flies. It's pretty good at going around corners. And it's unique as hell, man. Fucking love it. But anyway, guys, that's going to be the end of the video. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, smash a like. And if you haven't already, why not subscribe to my YouTube channel for more GTA 5 content. And until next time, I'm out. Adios.